Hey guys, today's video is going to be a little bit different and I figure it might help out somebody, anybody. So I decided to, I wanted to do this video for you guys. Oh, <laughs> and hi, if you're new here, hi, my name is Bobby. And if you are not new here, hi, welcome back to YouTube, <laughs> to my channel. Um, we do beauty things here mostly, but today I am going to kind of share a little bit of my knowledge with you guys just to, you know, maybe try and help somebody out. <laughs> um, and I really hope it does help somebody out. If it, this is new information to you or anything like that, please leave me a comment down below. And while you're, you know, in that generalized area, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button because that really helps me out a lot. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and get into the video. So I am going to share a little bit of my knowledge and from what I know and what I, the information that I've gathered because unlike most people, I didn't start a COVID channel. Um, I've had this beauty YouTube channel for years and I had done my first video years and years ago. Um, um, mostly just as a hobby at first, but this past year and a half, I've been doing it like, you know, like taking accountability for it and like it's my job. So, um, I'm sorry, you guys. I, my nose is so runny today because the weather just changing is doing the most to me. Trust me. So... I'm gonna talk about through YouTube analytics, what they actually might mean. That way you can maybe have a better understanding of what's happening. And I'm gonna do this series. I'm gonna think, I think I'll do it once a week because YouTube only has page by page. And I would love to get some more beauty content out there so that I'm not just bombarded and bombarding you guys with like analytic information, analytic information, and, and analytic information. Um, I'm going to go ahead and like, do I even balance? <laughs> um, so the first tab that I wanna go over with you guys is for your analytics is the traffic source. Um, page now the traffic source page is from where people are getting to to your video so the first one that comes up for me is my youtube search so that means in the little search bar at the top of youtube whether it be on your phone uh, computer it doesn't matter at it for this um particular one just whatever they search in the YouTube search bar, um, it's coming up. My video is coming up through that. So if somebody is searching makeup, it, like anything that you tag your video with, that's what it's gonna come up as. So my video is coming up through the YouTube search more often than anything else. Um, say if somebody's searching my name, if somebody's searching this or that. I remember when I used to search my name and it didn't come up at all, guys. And that was sad. It was so sad. It was like the Bobby Boss Wigs channel. And then my, I had to go down, 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 down. Oh my God. It was forever it took me to like, but I had to pump out videos like nobody's business to get it to go like that. Um, the next one that comes up for me is YouTube advertising. So YouTube advertising is when um, you can use several avenues of it because there's third party apps like um, a company called Sprizzy. I've used them before because they kind of take all the legwork out of it for you. And you just tell them, I want to promote this video. Um, and then they, kind of look at the title and look at the tags and then they recommend it to people who might, you know, want to watch that. And then there's Google ads and you can do Google ads, but they do, they don't do any of the legwork for you. Okay. You got to do every little thing. You got to check stuff, create the tags, all of that, and tell them what type of people, what kind of content it is and how you're going to 
how they need to advertise it and who they need, what kind of brackets, age brackets, everything of who you need to advertise it to, which is where the analytics of it comes in handy if you are gonna do a Google ad. Um, so until you understand analytics, I don't suggest doing a Google ad just because I feel like you're not gonna get as many viewers for your money there. So I would just stay away from that and maybe just go with like Sprizzy or something like that. Basically, uh, browse features is where um, it's something that they searched through Google itself. And um, so that's really what that is. So it's different from a YouTube search. It's just a generalized search. And then they found your video through that avenue, which would be um, like Google itself or a different search engine. Maybe if you use Yahoo engine, search engine. I don't know if anybody even uses that anymore, but from and channel pages is the next avenue. So channel pages would be where, um, say I did a collab and they're finding my avenue through a link, whether it be in somebody's bio, whether it be in, um, so a collab video down in the description box. It's through somebody else's channel, through a different avenue than you would normally have. They didn't go out and search it, but it's in this information. It's a link, they clicked the link. So the next one is almost kind of self-explanatory again. It's um, through suggested videos. So suggested videos is where, which is where a good amount, I get a lot of suggested videos um, through some of the collabs that I've done and I get suggested videos through. So basically if somebody is, your video gets suggested to somebody else, to, like towards the end, of the videos like or in the little to the side if you're watching on a desktop or um, underneath if you're watching on a, a phone it will like it'll be the next video up but it's not the same person um, because your content is just like theirs or because you use the same tags that they did something like that that would be a suggested video um, the next one is notifications so a notification would be like that person is subscribed to you that hit the bell and everything and then you get a notification to your um, cell phone you get an email something like that hey such and such has uh, Bobby Lace has uploaded a video be sure to go and like it <laughs> so the next one would be an external um, source which would be like um like facebook like if i was to post my link to my video on facebook or in from an instagram bio or it say i had a blog and the link was in there um that's where i feel like um at the external comes from so the traffic from a direct or unknown um analytic would be from a link so the from a URL link so say you send somebody your link directly or um, you just say I was at work and I abused the shit out of my um, my what you call it my email list and I just take everybody's email and then like sit it send it out you know what I'm saying like that and then they open the link and they click the link that is what a direct or unknown uh, source would be okay so the traffic from within uh, other YouTube features would be traffic from within YouTube that does not fall into any other category, such as views from partner promotions or the dashboard. Um, the next one would be from a playlist. Say somebody, anybody um, <laughs> is playing your playlist, then that's where that analytic comes from, that traffic 
to your video that's where it comes from you guys also anytime you're in a hotel okay this is what I do <laughs> I go to a hotel and um, if I'm gone especially since I travel with my doggy Saint um, I will leave my videos on in the background um, he's clearly not watching it but he can hear my voice and I think it helps soothe him because he's when I started doing that he stopped um, like tearing things up acting wild piddling on the floor and stuff like that because he feel he can hear me but maybe he's just like looking for me the whole time <laughs> i don't know what he does while i'm gone though so i don't get a lot of traffic from my in screen end screen videos which is something that if you're not a youtuber yet or you haven't posted your first video or anything like that after your video is done uploading a YouTube it processes it and then after it's done processing your video then at the last 20 seconds of your video you can add an end screen so that's the video where it pops up the little head on my videos and which is where you can click it and subscribe and then I normally put what is best for my viewer um, and the other little boxy screen that may or may not be over here at this time. So what would be best for you specifically um, is in, if they click that in the end of the video, that's an in-screen analytic. So I really hope that you guys love this video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope I helped somebody so so much because that's really what I like to do especially with my platform I like to help people you know figure things out whether it be a cut crease analytics um, figure some stuff out like maybe hopefully I say something that triggers somebody into having an excellent idea one day <laughs> Um, but thank you guys so, so much for watching and thank you for helping me fill my time here at work because I have, it's only 12 o'clock and I have to be here till six. So, um, thank you guys so, so much. I love you all the pieces and I will see you next time.